You bring the barrel-aged double IPA, and we'll bring the Imperial Pint Glass. Let's get back to another round of Brews Day Tuesday with Drez and Huck. Pop, 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 pop. Uh, that <laughs> lovely sound means it is another round of Brews Day Tuesday brought to you by the Cellar Restaurant and Six Pack Store in the heart of downtown Blackbird. Actually, was it just there last night, actually? Were you really? Yeah, we got the uh, calzone. Cal. It was pretty yummy. Yeah, it's giant. The, the meat lover. It's giant. Oh, it was good. Yeah. It lasted me like three days. Oh, it was so good. Um, they got so anything good on draft? I've been over there in a couple days. I've been we, traveling. Uh, we got a picture of the Terrapin Tropical oh. IPA. Tropical. It wasn't too shabby. Nice. And uh, yeah, it was good. Yeah, I got You liked that beer, didn't you? I had a cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, as, not as much as she likes the On the Rock, which we did just pop. So here's the thing. Kirsty, you know... We like to do four different beers, and you brought four beers from On the Rock. I did. Unfortunately, somehow, two of them are the same. <laughs> I guess the guy at the store like she did not accidentally put two in the same she thing not, or something. She did not inspect what she expected. So we're gonna blame it on the guy at the yeah. store. So when yeah. we go over there, I'm gonna slap him whenever I get to Bermuda. whatever the guy at the store's name is. The guy at the store, it's probably the guy with the wagon. Hans. I don't know what kind of names they have in Bermuda. Oh, you want to hear? You yeah, hear I want to hear some Bermuda so, names. Okay, well, first of all, this is the IPA. So this is the IPA from On the Rock. <laughs> so there is, there's two breweries that I think that we know of that are brewing over there. One of them is On the Rock. The other one is what? Frog and the Frog and Onion. Frog mm-hmm. and Onion. And at Frog and friggin Onion, onion? A friggin Onion, <laughs> friggin Onion, the guy at Friggin Onion. Um, uh, actually, actually, it's Dockyard Brewing, but their their main pub is the Frog and Onion Pub. That's what it is. Well, they brew right there. Yeah. Yeah. So they brew on site. So they name the everything. They name the sidewalk something. But know. um, <laughs> the the manager guy there that was like really nice and actually took us back to look at the brew setup and everything. His name, Dragon. Dragon, there you go. <laughs> no joke. Dragon like or straight just up dragon. 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 Which apparently is like a pretty common name wherever he's from. Where is it? Yeah, he's like he's like East, Eastern European, not Bermudian. <laughs> so how could you be from Bermuda unless you're like a shellfish? Just a question. Yeah, well, you have to answer that one. I don't know. Well, go ahead. Well, I mean, people have lived in Bermuda since 1609, so there's... So previous to that, it was just the uh, crustaceans. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so I have a question for y'all because um, we asked questions. We had question answered before, but now I have more. I have more questions. You said sixteen oh nine. I thought it was like back when like Columbus was doing the stuff. Oh no, six, yeah, because it was like fourteen ninety two. Jamestown. Jamestown. Oh, Jamestown. They yeah. probably stopped there, and yeah, everybody died. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what? The food. Tell me about the food in Bermuda. Uh, well, what's the main thing? Because like we were like surprised to find in South America, it was like at very tip. It was. King crab, just like Alaska. So what do you guys eat out in the middle of the ocean? Tuna? A lot lo- lobster, when it's lobster season. Lobster? Lobster. I thought that was northern. That's cool. Well, they got, I think they got a different kind of lobster. Out there. Yeah, ah. it's, it's spiny lobster. Yeah, they got like... Oh, they had that in Galapagos. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. good stuff. Spiny lobster. And the fish, there's a wahoo. Yeah, wahoo. Uh, we got yeah, there. Yeah, there's a lot of wahoo. The, the wahoo's lost. <laughs> the yeah. wahoo fish lost mm-hmm. this weekend, I think. Yeah, <laughs> how about that? <laughs> oh, let's not go there. <laughs> okay, so Wahoo. So what about, like, you know, how do you eat your French fries there? With mayonnaise. Yeah, but are they, like, thin, waffle cut? What kind of fries? You, you, you can get all, all types of fries. There's not, like, a home <laughs> fry? <laughs> yeah, we not, have... like, a tots? I mean, what is yeah. Somebody, you got to have a, pota- a special potato. Everybody has a special potato. I don't remember. I remember yeah. normal fries. Yeah, just normal fries. Mm. Um, how about steaks? I mean, what kind of meat? You got cows there? There are a few cows on the island, but they're there solely for producing milk. We don't, yeah. you, don't, she, you don't eat the cows. She, I would eat the cows. Yeah. <laughs> she was saying that yeah, uh, the out. people have been complaining lately because I guess they like changed the cows' like diet or something, oh. and the, the milk's tasting funny. Mm. No, it, it wasn't. It wasn't the milk. It was all the houses in the area were complaining of the smell of the manure. Oh, mm. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> Gotta have manure. You're gonna have cows. <laughs> what about chickens? Eat chickens? Oh, that's what's cool. So, so in Bermuda, there's just like wild chickens running oh, around. It's like all the islands do that. Yeah. Well, well, sh- tell them the story, like how that came to be. Like, what's the story with all the? There's just chickens everywhere. Well, I don't know if it's true. There, there are actually a few stories. Like, for example, <laughs> the, the hurricane, you know, broke down the walls to the chicken factory. I don't, I don't think that's true. I don't like that one. <laughs> I like the one, that, the one that you told me. Yeah, the other this one. This one's better. Been... You're gonna like this one better. <laughs> So there was a lot of Portuguese farmers there from uh, like the 1940s, 50s, 60s, 
And in 1970, the Bermuda government decided that all the Portuguese should leave. Oh, gotta go. Yeah, so in retribution, or so as in revenge, the Portuguese just let all their as chickens. As an FU, they just let <laughs> all the chicken chickens, chickens go. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're literally everywhere, and they are mean. They're mean. Oh, they're mean <laughs> chickens. Mean chickens. Yeah, there's some mean chickens. There's a story of, of, you know, when I was a banker, the Eagle Rock had a bank. The Bank of Eagle Rock, Virginia, which is in the middle of nowhere. I have a cabin out there. And they said that one time the bank examiner came, and they, they, they require a room. And they, nobody likes the bank examiner. It's like the tax examiner. And when they went in the back, he, they go, here's your room. And then there's like a chicken in there and a rooster, and they had to kick him out the, through the screen door and shut the door. <laughs> and then he says, here's your room. And the guy's like, I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> the Key West has those chickens and, of course, the roosters. So every time you're trying to sleep, I mean, it didn't matter. Day and night, the cock was crowing. Oh, you know boy. what I mean? Oh, boy. And, I mean, it's like, I, I was like, I'm going to go hunt them. And then the lady at the campground goes, in, you, you can't hunt them. They're protected. I'm like, no, they're not that protected. <laughs> you're asleep. Speaking of night and day cr- and crowing and stuff, so here's the other thing that was weird about Bermuda is there's these tree frogs Oh, that are just everywhere. So, like, at night, it just sounds like constant, like, squeaking and, like, it almost sounds like, like a rusty kind of a. In fact, I think on my phone. You got uh, it. We got to have I, the, I think oh, I got, got a little, some audio. I think I have some audio. It's, right. Now this isn't loaded in the system, so this might not sound great, but this is constant. <laughs> it sounds like a squeaky fence. That's what I'm saying. It sounds a like gate, a gate, right? It sounds like a squeaky, <laughs> like you know, like rusty, you know, mm. child's right, yeah, thing or something. But yeah. And you know what? I I actually can't hear it anymore. I have. I've, yeah, I get it was it super yeah. loud, and she's like, "Oh, I don't." It's know. like if you re- if you live by a train tracks, you get yeah, you yeah. get used to, or yeah. an airport or something. Yeah, yeah. The uh, oh shoot, I had another fun. Oh, here's a fun fact about Bermuda. So fun facts. So tell them a little bit about like so obviously you know they're in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, and you need like fresh water to drink and all that. Yeah, that'd be good. So they have these or beer. Sp- sp- like all the houses and probably all the buildings really have these special roofs. Like they all have the same roofs. That like are made to like collect Capture rainwater, water. yeah. Which is a felony in some states in America. Well, in, in Bermuda, that's <laughs> all they can do. That's all they can't can do. collect rainwater. I get a rainwater tax in Blacksburg, and mine is four times as much as my neighbors. But anyway, let's not go there. Okay, let's go back to Bermuda. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, um, so what way do the winds blow normally, easterly or westerly? All over. Really? It yeah. doesn't have a steady like here in America. The 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 winds come from west to east generally. That's, that's a good question. I, I actually don't know that. I don't, I, but I, I seem to remember the wind coming from all directions. It seems like it's all over the place. I mean, so, you're right there in the middle of the so ocean. So there's a, there's, a, um, there's a disturbance right now near Bermuda. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, I hope I get home tomorrow then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's like pretty high winds. There's some stuff going on. I don't know. It really? might be a little north, but I, I always check. I'm a weather guy. I used to be in the ski business. Looks like you're stuck here for a few more days. Yeah, yeah. you might want to check that. You might want to schedule a Another couple of days here. Well, I mean, that doesn't actually surprise me because I've been quite lucky missing quite a few of the hurricanes that have come past. The yeah, last it's a four years. it's a to- <laughs> tropical storm. It's not going to make hurricane status, but it's really wreaking some havoc in the central Atlantic right now. Oh wow! So, uh, so like we said, we went to that Frog and the Onion, and we're trying the the Dockyard Brewing, which of course, unfortunately, they don't like bottle it or anything. Um, we did like a flight, but uh, I did get you a little a uh, little treasure. All right, a little treasure. Oh. Uh. And that's a pretty sweet. So it's a can of beaner. Yeah, can you know, of beaner opener. And flip it over. Oh, compass. Compass. <laughs> yeah. I uh, figure I know you're collecting keychains now. So. I am, and this one's wonderful. It's gonna be like I've lost okay, the last three times I've driven the RV, I've lost the keys. Oh jeez. And one set I still haven't found. And <laughs> I was just at my daughter's house and went in the house and out and they were gone. So you're this the worst. Is, there's an you need set to get, going on. You need to get right one of those, here. like uh, the Bluetooth trackers, you can put on there. Uh, I need on that. your key ring. A little late mm-hmm. now. Well, shoot, never too late. This is excellent. What's the uh, the shape mean? Anything? Uh, I didn't really notice the shape. Is Dockyard it, Brewing. Though. It looks like a normal kind of a. Is looks it not like a, a seal kind of? I think it's just because it has the bottle opener on there. Yeah, it's cool. Thanks. That's yeah. probably the coolest carabiner I've ever seen. There you go. <laughs> well, actually, the one you gave me that's a bottle opener is pretty sweet. But that yeah. one's that one's pretty cool. Yeah, this will work. So, uh, so yeah, I guess well, let's go ahead and untap these bad bo- this bad boy. How do you like the IPA? Oh, it's good. Six point eight percent, fifty eight uh, IBUs, and we looks like we got. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna diss it just a hair. Oh, it's a pale ale. 
It's an Indian pale ale. It is. It should be. At least a, that's how Indian it's labeled. Pale ale, but it's more of a pale ale. I, I I'm kind of with you. Nothing really wrong with it, but again, a four. What do you think, Kirsty? I see you're sipping yours and enjoying it. I think it tastes like beer. It tastes <laughs> like beer. So we need to have a new on a scale of beer to not beer. <laughs> yeah, that's Kirsty scale. Very beer. beer. She's got like one scale: beer, beer, not beer. We do the untapped scale here, and uh, Huck's beer buzz is his handle. Drez drinks is mine. Kirsty, as a non-beer lover, I'm assuming you don't have an untapped account. No, but you know, if if I did like beer, I definitely would. There you Dude, go. Okay, all like right. There. You heard it for your folks. Um, I'd say this one's probably like a four. Would you give it again, Huck? Four. Four, yeah. Four. This is probably a four. four. Not too bad. Happy to be a four. Um, and I will say this, uh, you know, nothing against Dockyard, but I think that On the Rock is a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, I did beer, think, yeah. Beer-wise. But here's the thing, you know, so like like here with, with breweries popping up left and right, remember how we've talked about how like if you want to succeed, you have to bring your A game and stuff. Well, over there, there's... Two in the whole country. So they can put out whatever they want, really. And, bring out their sea and game. it's the beer. People are going to come there to drink the local beer, whether no matter how good it is, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. And and, and somebody else is going to start up. I don't know how many people are there. How many people are there? 65 or Six, something? 65,000. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. They could all fit in Lane Stadium. They could have they <laughs> been there at the UVA game. The but whole country. They? But would they? Because, you know, there's going to be some differences of opinion there. Yeah. So maybe I want to sit with somebody. There you go. Yep. I like Do the they way fish you think. There? They got like fishing boats. Yeah. yeah. There's lots of boats. Of course, the water is just recreational. Uh, I would say more recreational. Yeah. 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 I uh, think Bermuda is just recreational. Aqua. Let's head uh, out there. Beautiful turquoise I'm going water. Back with you if the hurricane will let us. We're going. We're going back. All right. I don't. Really, you, you're going to drive to the really airport work. at 4 a.m. I don't care. I guess okay. no. I'm going to be at, <laughs> on my way to somewhere else. Okay. Sorry. Uh, what are we doing next week, Huck? You got an idea? I got some uh, got some beers. It's about time for Christmas beers. Yeah, I got some beers Soon. at the office All in right. the cooler. And I got some Christmas. I got some winter. I haven't really decided, but somewhere in that range. We'll figure it out in the next couple of days. I'm so going to we'll let you know. I, I accidentally had enough, <laughs> drank some of them for Thanksgiving. Oops. I got a bunch of crap for drinking Christmas ale for Thanksgiving. But, you know, Christmas crack ale is. Oh, you can take that know, anytime. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mm. This was there, and I was like, yeah. You're going to drink it. So now I got to get another six pack of that because that one's gone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That'll happen. Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah, it'll be probably, probably these winter beers first. Then some we'll Christmas see. beers. All right, cool. Well, we'll figure it out. Uh, Kirsty, thank you so much for bringing the beer. It's good. The to Bermuda see you beer again. from the Bermuda Babe. Uh, right. Hopefully, this is not the last time we'll have you on the show. Uh, figure out some other alcohol to bring yeah, our I way. <laughs> we'll have to move away from beer again. From on well, the I rock. Need, yeah, I think we need to get back to liquor with you. Yeah, yeah that's, I'm that's, down. That's definitely that's definitely my yeah. preferred choice. Yeah, I think I should make you some cocktails. There All you go. Hey. <laughs> All right, to be continued, if you will, Bruce Day Tuesday. We're going to take a quick break. We'll get back to the tunes right here on 105.3 The Bear. Stick around.